The following is a production of Learfield Sports. Welcome to Bobcast Stadium for a beautiful night of football for the first ever Tuesday night game featuring the Texas State Bobcats as they take on the reigning Sunbelt Conference champion Louisiana Raging Cajuns, the three-time New Orleans Bowl winners. The Cajuns have won five of their last six Sunbelt Conference road games. The team, everybody trying to emulate in the Sunbelt, the Bobcats included, and want to knock them down here tonight. Man in the slot goes in motion. Broadway play fake goes deep. Far side has receiver wide open to the 30. 20, 15, 10 for the touchdown. Bobcats going to rush three. Broadway is hit and he's sacked by Odiari. Back at the two yard line. What has gotten in to Michael Odiari? Jones out of the shotgun, empty backfield, low again, motions right. Here comes the rush, four men for Louisiana. Pass near side, caught by Miller. Inside the 10 yard line, and goes into bounds at the Louisiana nine. What a tremendous grab from Bradley Miller. Boy, you know, we of course remember Tyler Jones to Bradley Miller in overtime at Tulsa. There, Bradley Miller actually ends up catching the back of the football. Snap for Miller, set down by Jones. The kick is up and it is good. The Bobcats are on the board. 14 23 to go here in the first half. 7 3. Louisiana in front. Two receivers right, two to the left. Ball left hash thrown at 39. One man in the backfield. Bobcats a three man defensive line. Bringing a blitz. Broadway steps up. Hit. Sacks. Back at the 33 yard line. Third and 11, Cats their own 32. Shotgun staff back to Jones. Four man rush. Goes far side. Pass caught. What a catch from Bryce Gunter. Up to the 49 yard line. A gain of 17 yards. First down, Texas State. Boy, and that's Bryce Gunter going up against the 5'11 senior, Corey Trim, who tonight gets his 19th consecutive start. And you know, that's just Bryce Gunter out wanting the football from Trim. First down, Cats at the 49. Play fake for Jones. Here comes the pressure, and down he goes. A sack off the edge. The ball is fumbled. It's a live ball, and it's picked up by Justin Hamilton, and he walks into the end zone for the touchdown. Motion for the slot. It is a handoff to McGuire, running right. McGuire first down to the 30. 25-yard line, cuts back inside. 15, 10, stumbles down to the one-yard line. 36-yard gash for Elijah McGuire. And Louisiana, as it did a year ago, dominating in the first half, taking a 20-3 lead. Coach, what would you like to see from your team in the second half? Oh, I'd like to see his block better, tackle better, execute better, take care of the ball better. Play more physical. Well, he's in a, trying to take a stranglehold of this game, but they don't have it already. Hand off McGuire, and McGuire stays on his feet at the 10, to the 5, to the end zone for the touchdown. What a run from Elijah McGuire. The Bobcats thought they had him last over the sideline, able to dance its way out of two tackles, stays in bounds, and scores. Going into this game that they were going to come out, try to run the ball and play physical, um, it was no surprise. We've been knowing that. You know, all year, all since last year. That's what they do. Broadway from the pistol. First down for the 39. Bobcat territory. Play fake. Broadway going deep. Far side. And that pass is intercepted by David Mims. At the 5 to 10. Mims 15. Running right at the 20. 25. Mims finally brought down at the 26 yard line. So all night long, we've been asking for somebody to make a play, and it's a junior from Dangerfield High School. First, I got, of course, I got to give thanks to the coaches and stuff for making the call, and my position coach, Jason Washington, for teaching me the right technique to play corner and everything, and then just going up and being a ball player when the ball's in the air. On second down and three, Jones going deep for Gutter, makes the catch the 10 to the five to the end zone for the touchdown. The Stephenville connection. Puts a Bobcats in the end zone for the first time tonight. How many Stephenville High School fans right now are shaking their heads, nodding their heads in acknowledgement as they 
Saw that, of course, many, many times. Well, we uh, we didn't match up very good. We didn't play very good. We uh, got to give them credit. They got a good ball club, and they took it to us. And uh, we just we didn't match up in any way, shape, or form very well. They defeated our blocks, and uh, we dropped some balls. We hurt ourselves sometimes. Penalties hurt us. Um, we self-inflicted wounds hurt us, but they they defended us well too. Well, I think Lafayette definitely like you know, sets the tempo for the whole conference as far as playing physical, playing well and together. Uh, so I think it was just, you know, we got to learn from it and we got to come out against Monroe and play better. I think what we could take away is that, of course, like adversity is going to happen during the season. Like, we may work as hard as we possibly can. There's just going to be some times things just aren't clicking right. And we just got to be able to work through this and make things, just make the corrections we need to make um, and hopefully just come out and get better for next week. And that will do it. From start to finish, this Tuesday night game dominated by the reigning Sunbelt champions. The final score from Bobcat Stadium, Louisiana 34, Texas State 10. SWBC Mortgage, pre-qualify for your new home today. Find a branch near you at score.swbcmortgage.com. Get a large two-topping pizza for just $7.99 at pizzahut.com. A deal this good only lives online. So for a limited time, try the $7.99 online deal any day of the week when you order at pizzahut.com. The best Pizza Hut deals live online. Pizza Hut. I'm a third generation farmer here in the Santa Maria Valley. My family was born to farm, and the rich soil here was made to grow some of the best organic produce in the world. Within minutes of being picked, our vegetables are cooled to preserve freshness, and then shipped daily to HEB. Our partnership with HEB is a strong one. We share the same passion for family, community, and sustainability. Not to mention awesome tasting organic vegetables. <laughs> I'm Tom, and this is your organic produce at low prices department at HEB. No store does more than my HEB. SWBC is with you to help plan for life's little adventures. We're here so you have one less thing to worry about. We can help turn a dream into a reality. And we let you focus on your business, not on business paperwork. Wherever you are in life, we're with you. At Texas State University, 35,546 accomplished Bobcats from all 50 states and 66 countries enjoy a beautiful hill country campus located in the Austin metropolitan area. We offer nearly 200 degrees, and our retention and graduation rates are among the highest in the state. Our faculty are world-class researchers in a variety of fields. And at our Star Research Park, we are developing the next generation of nanotechnology one atom at a time. Texas State University the rising star of Texas. Get a large two-topping pizza for just $7.99 at PizzaHut.com. A deal this good only lives online. So for a limited time, try the $7.99 online deal any day of the week when you order at PizzaHut.com. The best Pizza Hut deals live online. Pizza Hut. Uh, we practiced Thursday and Sunday, so we've had a little time to recoup a little bit in a lot of different ways. We watched film and lifted on Friday. Uh, yesterday, Monday is always their player's day off with their class schedules and things. So, um, <clears throat> got six straight ahead of us now, and uh, so it was good to, to get this uh, time away and time to refresh a little bit. And, uh, some extra bonus time for the coaches to recruit and things like that. You know, the guys, um, gosh, they were ready to play. We got off to a bad start with the third play of the game. They caught us in man coverage, snuck the guy out of the backfield. We kind of got bit on the play fake and, and let the big play happen. And that's one thing, you know, defensively we haven't done much this year is give up big plays. So we've had a hard time, you know, getting off the field as much as we want to, but we haven't given a big play. So that got us off to a bad start. Um, I don't think we played near as well as we're capable of playing. Um, 
for whatever reason. But we played a good football team again. I mean, uh, you all saw them, and uh, we have to give a lot of credit to Lafayette. They've got a good program, and, and they're a good football team. Well, the whole game, we felt like we were in it. Uh, coming out defensively-wise, we came out and got a couple three and outs and uh, felt like we still were in the game. And even going into halftime, we felt like we still were in the game coming out. As a team, you know what I'm saying, as a team sport, you know the defense isn't always going to succeed and the offense isn't always going to succeed. But uh, it's all about coming out and having that next play mentality like Coach Franz always talking about. Next play, all right, they scored that, but the next play we can go out and do the same exact thing. Mm -hmm. So we always have our defense back and they always have ours. We've all had to look in the mirror and look at what we needed to do and talk about it and everything. But we had, we've had good workouts. Um, I think our guys... Uh, like it, like the coaches are, and us, we're all frustrated uh, sometimes when you have a game like that, and elated when you have a game like Idaho and Tulsa. And uh, you know, our uh, we've got some really great leaders on this team. We got some guys that are well grounded and uh, have an understanding of things. Um, you always wish. Uh, to have those kind of guys, and we're fortunate we do. Um, so I, I think we're in real good shape there. Jones a throw, goes middle, the ball goes off the hands of the intended receiver, incomplete. We knew it was a big game going into it, and uh, you know that can have a positive or negative effect on players depending on how they look at it. Um, so, you know, it was just a lot of trying to do too much, you know what I'm saying, maybe trying to turn up and juke a guy before you even catch the ball. So. I'm always on my whole receiving core, always, you know, um, when they do good or when they do bad. So, you know, I'm, as a, like you said, as a senior, I'm not trying to beat anybody down. I'm not trying to demean anybody, but I need to let them know you need to pick it up. You know, we, we want to pass the ball. We want to do certain things as a receiving core. So that being the case, we have to maximize every opportunity. And I let my receiving core know that. When I daydream, I don't think about PowerPoint charts. I daydream about football. <laughs> it's such a beautiful game. It's this massive array of strategy, competitiveness, athleticism. So when you ask what a CEO does, drives performance, knows how to develop other people, and how to set standards, all three of those things come back to what I learned when I was playing football. I'm Jeff Himmel. I'm chairman and CEO of GE, and I'm a football player. Guard to Monroe. Um, these guys have played a tough schedule. Um, they have held Wake Forest to 96 yards of offense. Uh, they're a good defensive ball club. 
Um, you know, they, uh, they've had some close games and done pretty well in close games. Uh, the Kentucky game kind of got away from them. Um, you know, last year we played them in a close game that went down to the last 18 seconds of the game. It was kind of a heartbreaker. Uh, the way the thing un unfolded in the last four or five minutes uh, and everything. But don't anticipate this game being a whole lot different. Um, this will be our first trip to Monroe. I've been there, but uh, first time for this group to go on the road and, and to go there. So we'll find out a little bit more what that's like. Uh, but this is a good defensive ball club, move around a lot, do a lot of different things. and. Uh, Solid offensive unit. They've got a senior quarterback that transferred in, and uh, he's pretty solid. Um, pretty solid receivers, running backs. So they've had some injuries. I'm sure the open week has been good for them uh, to get some people back. Uh, I know they got some guys banged up in the Kentucky game, and so who all, who's back and everything remains to be seen. But. We're all going through those kinds of things this time of year. They like to throw it. They like to air it out. Um, the quarterback, he, he takes a lot of chances. He's a big, uh, big size quarterback as well. Uh, their receivers are pretty good. And uh, I know they're returning running back number five. He's coming back as a strong runner. So I know a pretty good amount of it. You know, uh, scheme wise, they, we're expecting them to do a lot of the same thing. Um, but uh, we had different quarterback situation that game. Um, you know, our offense has matured a lot well, or a lot more than they were going into that game. Uh, defense as well. You know, we're a lot more, we're a much more veteran group than we were going into that game. Especially as an offense, everything goes through the quarterback. And uh, when you don't have to worry about your quarterback going through the highs and the lows, that means that you know, okay, something bad might have happened the play before, but if we call a pass, he's not going to throw a bad pass just because he's dwelling on it. He's ready to move on. And, you know, like, that's a comforting feeling for the whole offense, knowing that he's not going to get too high, he's not going to get too low, so he can't get beat down. You know, he's, gonna, he's always going to come and have that same emotion and that same uh, passion. We always know that we have to be adequately prepared going into the game. And, you know, uh, having 10 days now instead of six is darn near twice as much time to get ready, get this game plan installed, and get everybody firing on all cylinders. So, uh, you know, it's a little bit bittersweet, but um, it's definitely more of a positive than a negative. The only sense of urgency that we have is to get ready to play this game. I mean, you know, as head coach, I have to look at, at the whole thing sometimes. But, um, you know, we just need to get ready to play Monroe. That's the only one. I know you guys hate to hear this <laughs> and you think it's coach speak, but it's fact. I mean, we, you know, we can't play New Mexico State till we play this one. And um, we just got to – Get ready to play this one as best we can, and and um, you know we'll we'll be back in a weekly routine at now, and uh, today will be a kind of a Tuesday practice for us in a, in a normal week of preparation, and you know once Saturday evening's over, then we got to get ready for the next one, and you know every game um, takes on a little bit of its own identity with injuries or up and down play or the development of younger players and things like that. So uh, you just had to kind of have to keep assessing and adjusting and evaluating as you go along. All right, Monroe. You guys are pretty good on D. Give me a lot of looks, give me a lot of movement. We had to work hard for our points last year. Offense, they're solid. Quarterback can sling it. I see this doing it last year. They, they drove 90 yards, scored with 18 seconds to go to win the game. We had our opportunities. We got some foolish penalties toward the end and, and uh, didn't make a play or two. I think this is going to be about like that one. I think it's going to be about like Tulsa. Tough, close, hard fought. The thing we talked about is we got to practice here. The only thing we control is our preparation. Okay? The better we practice, the better we play on Saturday. The better we practice, the better chance we've given ourselves for success. Everybody talked about being accountable for their practice. Let's get it started. Let's go. At SWBC, we're driven by service. 
This takes hard work and an unwavering dedication to your success. We provide quality home mortgages, insurance programs, and more for you and your business with one thing in mind, your financial goals. Because your win is our win. Okay, guys, and I told you this before, okay, this defense is going to give us a lot of, they blitz Kentucky 76%, okay, they blitz Idaho 50%, a lot of cross, a lot of field, a lot of boundary, um, boundary speak instead of field speak, so you're not going to be able to see that as well. Okay, hey, do your footwork, please. You got me? Detail, Adrian. Here we go. Let's go, guys. Run. Details. Let's go. Let's go. Once that ball goes, I need you to come. You got me? All right, Big A, you got a defensive end there, OK? Stand right there. Go! 1,000 more, 1,000 go. Okay, we're ripping and rolling, boys. Step, gather, and go. Hey, d come here. I'll be your d for the day. Good, you're eyeing this linebacker, right? Keon, how are you enjoying Texas State? Did you make the right decision? Do you like it? Are you happy? Huh? Are you happy? Good? Everything in line? Good. Copa, inside foot. Once it starts going back, it's always going to go back. You got me? One step plant. Don't give it up. Here. Here we go. Good. Good, Charlie. Here we go. Work the loop. Work the loop. Work the loop. Down on down. Ah, come back. Come right in here. L step vertical, big A. Get that left shoulder into it. On down. Ah! Come on. On down. Ah! Yeah. That's better. Good. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, on down, on down, on down. Be detail oriented. On down. Ah! Very good. Don't let that surprise you, Ryan. Whole new group. Whole new group. Whole new group. Whole new group. Here. On down. Left shoulder tackle. On down. Ah! Not bad. Not bad. Here we go. to follow us on Facebook and Twitter. At Texas State University, 35,546 accomplished Bobcats from all 50 states and 66 countries enjoy a beautiful hill country campus located in the Austin metropolitan area. We offer nearly 200 degrees and our retention and graduation rates are among the highest in the state. Our faculty are world-class researchers in a variety of fields. And at our Star Research Park, we are developing the next generation of nanotechnology one item at a time. Now Texas you can State show University, it off and keep your money here at Texas, Texas State. Because whenever you buy at the University Bookstore at Texas State, that money stays here on campus. Apparel, books, gifts, and much more. Online or in the heart of Bobcat Country, find it, get it, and keep it on campus. 
University Bookstore at Texas State. Your bookstore. Back at All In Texas State Football, I'm Brent Freeman. This coming Saturday, the Bobcats are making their first trip to Monroe, Louisiana since the year 2000. Now for a preview of the game, we are joined over the phone by the voice of the Warhawks, Frank Hoffman from the ULM Sports Network. Frank, thanks for joining us. And uh, you look at the Warhawks, like the Bobcats so far, 3-3 three and three at this point of the season. ULM did not play last week, last playing Kentucky a couple of weeks ago in a non-conference loss. Uh, what are your impressions about this ULM football team now that they've hit the halfway point of their season? Well, you know, obviously that's where we are, Brad. Halfway through the season, there have been some good things and some bad things. I guess that you can say that for, for you guys as well. But uh, we've been excited about this year. We, uh, we're we strong on defense. There's no question about that. The offense still has a long way to go trying to put all that to uh, together. Even, even in some of the, the big game losses, the quote, the money games against LSU and Kentucky, we played well defensively until we just wore out. And finally, uh, you know, the first half in both of those games, we played well against those teams. And uh, just trying to get the, the offense uncorked. Uh, so that's what's going on at ULM. Looking at the Warhawks offensively, I know a big loss, big shoes to fill at the quarterback position with Colton Browning graduating this past year. And the quarterback taking the majority of the snaps so far in 2014 has been Pete Thomas. But the ULM offense has had a tough time getting things on track. How do they do that now moving forward? Well, you're right about Colton Brown. Colton holds every passing record in ULM history, and we've had some great quarterbacks down through the years, including guys like Stan Humphreys and many others I can name. I want, but uh, Colton, you know, holds every record now. Started for four straight years from his freshman year on. Pete Thomas came in and actually transferred to ULM from North Carolina State. He played there for a year, had nine starts there at North Carolina State, but. He's a good football player. He's not Colton Browning. He's a different kind of player than that. But uh, he, and he's still, to some degree, learning the offense. I think as the season goes on, he gets better. And with that, of course, I think, I hope, the ULM offense gets better as that happens. The strength of this ULM football team so far has been its defense, only giving up 24 points per game, leading the Sun Belt right now in total defense. You look at the personnel and you know, some of the best players in the Sun Belt Conference, particularly at linebacker with Ray Stovall. Uh, what makes this unit on defense click for ULM? Well, it, it's good depth. We did return nine starters from last year. We had had some injuries of late. Of course, as you well know, that's part of football, and especially in the secondary. Uh, we lost both our starting corners. They've been out for the last couple of weeks, and then even some of their backups got hurt. You mentioned Ray Stovall, and he was out last week, you know, for the uh, what, year, week before last for the Kentucky game. Um, so, um, but defensively, this is the strength of this football team. There's no doubt about that. And it, it's, it's a good defense because there's not necessarily a bunch of stars. It's just a bunch of good, solid football players uh, anchored up with a nose tackle named Jaron Johnson who does a great job for us. So, uh, yeah, the, the games we win, I think at this point anyway, we're winning because of the defensive effort. Looking ahead to Saturday's game against the Bobcats, a rematch of last year, ULM won the game 21-14 in San Marcos. A couple of pick sixes for Isaiah Newsom, and then Bradley Brown, now the backup quarterback for ULM, led that fourth quarter drive to win the game uh, late. If you're looking at this game coming up against Texas State, how do you feel like the matchup fares this Saturday? I think whenever you play a conference game, it's pretty much uh, throughout the league, it's almost anybody's game, whoever shows up to, to play that day. And I think that'll be the case. Obviously, that great game last year with the, the two picks, as you mentioned, by Isaiah. And Brady Brown, who you know came in after Colton got hurt in that game last uh, last year, uh, he you know he is the backup quarterback for Pete Thomas, played a little bit more than he had been playing in the game, our last game against Kentucky. So, who knows, Brady might even see some action again against you guys. But I expect it to be another good game, as most of our contests with Texas State over the years have been. Thanks, Frank. Looking forward to the trip to Monroe this weekend. We look forward to you guys being here as well. Look forward to seeing you then, Brent. Thank you very much. And with that, we wrap up this week's edition of All In Texas State Football. I'm Brent Freeman reminding you to keep on unleashing that battle cry, and we'll see you next time.